So we got these fine folks at the Baptist Church feeding the hikers breakfast. Thank you, everybody. Much appreciated. You guys are world famous. Oh, absolutely. So thank you. Bless you. Guys, how we doing? Prospector is in the house. <laughs> how we doing, boys? How's it going, man? Good. Doing? Good to see all you guys. How you doing? Good. There he is. How we doing, guys? Jerry. How's that going, bud? You too, buddy. How you doing, my man? Good morning, bud. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. There's the green slouch himself. Hey. Lucy. What's up, bud? Her Hermione. Hermione. Yeah. Hermione. There's the world famous 17 year old young man. Hey. Q-tip. How you doing, buddy? Prospector. Good. Good. Good morning. Wait. You are the class of 2019. Woo! Yeah. Did the AT, which just blows my mind, because one was once blows my mind twice. And that's just above and beyond. But anyway, that has been fun for some. Thank you. When you get to the top, not if, but when, we have a wall of honor. And I have been very lazy this year. I have enough to cover this whole thing. I have it on all the doors, going on all three floors. Um, we just want to hear that you made it that maybe our pancakes and bacon helped you a little bit along the way. And we read those to the congregation. We celebrate, not like you celebrate, but we celebrate that you made it to the top and we're just thankful that you made a goal and had set for yourself. If you leave here hungry, it is your fault. <laughs> this room will cook as long as you will eat and we don't count first and seconds and thirds or whatever. You just go back, go back, go back, go back. If you take a zero day, if you take many zero days, as long as you take zero days, you are welcome here for breakfast. We're going to do it one more week. Every day, you are welcome if you're in Franklin. So come here for breakfast. Menu doesn't change much. Today was bacon and pancakes. Tomorrow is pancakes and bacon. Right. So, but you're welcome as long as you are here. If there's something we can do for you, please ask. If you don't see it or something you need, we would love to help. The grandma in me is going to come out, and the fact that you had to have somebody that said, What? <laughs> when you said, I'm going to the AT. So we have paper on our tables. You need to write a note, say I'm doing good. I'm going to take your picture and we'll put it in it. And, and the church will mail it wherever. England, I sent one to Finland yesterday. Um, North Carolina, it doesn't matter where. We will mail it. And think of the brownie points you will have when you get home from a handwritten note and a picture. From church. Uh, from me. church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will be for me. I would love to be in that mailbox with some grandmas and some parents and some grandchildren and whoever, spouses, open that because first of all, they know that's not a bill because that's a, <laughs> that's a cool envelope and I like to get cool envelopes. And then to see a handwritten note and a picture from you just has to make their day. So if you want to do that, you're more than welcome. I'm going to start taking pictures and dipping them out so that you can do that. Go back, go back, eat, eat. How about a round of applause, everybody? There's a story in John chapter 5 where Jesus encounters uh, a lame man. He has some sort of physical problem. And he was down at this pool, and the legend was that an angel would come down and stir the waters, and whoever got into the water first would be healed. And so Jesus comes up to him, and he said, ask him to me a very yes or no question. Do you wish to be well? It's kind of like, do you wish to eat? Uh-huh. I want to eat. Do you wish to be well? 
But what he started talking about was what defined him. Well, there's nobody that, huh, 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 huh. So what defines you? I'm not defined by the fact that I'm a pastor. I'm not defined by the fact that I'm a husband or a father or this or that or anything else except for one thing. What defines me, what colors everything else about my life is the fact that I'm a Christ follower. As a kid, I chose, I realized <clears throat> that I did not have the answers. That there was something missing in my life and that something was a relationship with Jesus Christ. That colors, that affects everything else I know. The fact that I'm a Christ follower. What defines me? Can I pray for you? Let's pray. Father, thank you for these folks and I just pray that you keep them safe out on the trail. Lord, as they go, may your creation do what your word said. Just speak into their hearts and lives of your glory your divine attributes. Father, thank you for letting us be with them this day. And we praise you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right, you have to thank you. Thank you, folks. You're welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. We'll catch you later. We'll put you up to talk. Uh, he says, we got to feed the hikers. That's great. So uh, they started doing this, and, uh, you know, the, the group started building over time. <laughs> Last year, I think we we did just short of a 1,000 people. Oh, wow. So we're, that's the goal for this year.